Hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, the SIP Records one. Those that have subscribed, uh, take the time out. If you will subscribe now. Uh, today I'm going over how to change an ice cream uh, glass replacement. So that's what we'll be doing today: how to change the iPad glass and say you cracked it by mistake or you know just want to change one. You will be needing a heat gun or you can use a hair dryer as well. Um, you can pick up a heat gun, probably about 12, 15 bucks maybe, 10 bucks maybe, a heat gun. But uh, let's get started. So what you want to do is you want to heat up. See around here, this part here is already broken up from the top badly. So I'm going to start heating up this side right here first, the top and the side. So when heating it up <clears throat> around the edges and taking the lid off, be careful down here at the bottom where your home button is, there's a ribbon. You don't want to rip that ribbon when trying to take it loose. So look in between there, it's right down here at the bottom, that ribbon right there, up in that area. So you want to try to pull it loose from the top and fold backwards that way. So I might get this side over here loose. And I'm going to pry it from the top and fold it back. Believe it or not, right now I have on uh, safety goggles, well safety glasses. For these little chips of glass that's breaking, I want to make sure that I'm safe. Put a little more heat on this side. Spatula. So. I just want to take pull it out slowly. I'm gonna start from this top, kind of work my way around the edges as I pull it this way. Put that little piece on loose. Right on now. From the bottom. Uh, where is it at? Oh, there goes that ribbon. Right over here, here goes the ribbon. So get that side, that down there. Put that side down. Clean off the outer edges, and we will be taking a loose uh, four screws one, two, and three, and four because the ribbon is, is right here. Here goes the ribbon, but it's underneath the digitizer. So you're going to have to get a small screwdriver, which came in my little package, a little fill-up. And unscrew these screws that hold the digitizer. Make sure you set your screws in a nice place that they won't get lost. So now that you got that up out of there, you want to, lean, you want to pry it over. 
and lean it over this way because there's a ribbon up under there that you need to take loose so you can set it to the side so what you want to do with this ribbon here is you want to pull it loose just like a regular uh, laptop uh, screen Take that digitizer away. Now, pop those little black levers up right here. One, two. Come over here. This wire is going to be kind of glued down a little bit for safety. So you want to kind of pull it up a little bit because it's glued right here. So you pull it up kind of gently pulling that glue loose slowly slowly pull it up there we go disconnect be careful just like that and now remove the broken one so I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna clean around these edges before we uh, replace the other one so now that we've got the edges and stuff cleaned off with all the glass and stuff we want to set the digitizer and everything back in there before um, finally putting it all back together just to test it. So you just set your digitizer, connect your ribbon, set this back on top, and um, hold your power button up here to turn it on. There's a power button. Uh -huh. Make sure we got functions in the slide. Yes, we do. Um, Digitizer is functioning. Uh, sound. Yep, we got our sound. Um, what is this switch? Ringer. On, off. Um, volume. Up, down. Up. And now that we know that it's completely repaired, now we just put it back together. So when folding it back down, it's going to go down like that. It's going to be tape under it. So the screen is going to come and sit slap down in there. Like that and we have the tape. 